I'm outside the foundry at the SLS where I just went to a rally for Gary Johnson, the Libertarian candidate. Uh, I walked in, they gave me a press pass, they promised me an interview with him and uh, his vice president of the candidate, Bill Wells. I waited in the press room and got bumped, but I'm a comedian, I'm used to that. Anyway, I got like, a lot of great footage at the rally. There is more than two choices. There's the Libertarian choice as well. It was pretty fun. Check it out. You're telling me that you're shy. I am very shy. With those tattoos, you're shy. I get that a lot, actually. Yes. Because you understand that they're, they're meant to draw attention to you. No, they're meant for me as a representation of things that were important in my life. I understand that, but they do draw attention to you. They do. I'm, I'm having a hard time looking you in the eye, even though you have tattoos on your eye. Uh, I know. I do have them everywhere. But um, I'm still shy. Yeah, no, you should be nervous. I, it's, it's, why are you for Gary Johnson? Why are you here? He is really the only, to me, the, the only sane choice. Um, I I feel like this is a time of change where we, everyone, should be scared uh, more than ever about the future of the United States. And he is the only sane choice, in my opinion. Right. And uh, now, what is the one issue that he is... Uh, that he has proclaimed that nobody else has that really caught your attention? Um, I would say the medical marijuana, the regular marijuana. I, I, what a surprise. Just, I'm sorry? Well, I said, what a surprise. Oh, uh, but I don't smoke. Yeah, okay. I honestly don't. So I'm, um, I'm not drug testing people, it's okay. <laughs> Why are you for Gary Johnson? Um, like my stepbrother here says, we're about more freedom, less government. He's the only rational candidate to vote for. We really? got a con man and a liar. That's the other two. You play straight out Sopranos with that suit. I'm I like trying. It. That's what I'm going for. Right. Absolutely. At a political event, you got to. So this is like mafiosos for exactly. Gary Johnson. Right. Yes. You got to represent. Now, why are you for Gary Johnson? He's the candidate that best represents my views. Really? What are your views? Well, basically, I see Johnson. I don't see him as establishment. Um, specifically, uh, we're on drugs, uh, the prison issue, the industrial complex, scaling back the uh, military industrial complex. Really, the big overreaching uh, policies he's really against. Hold on, she's campaigning. Hold on. What is your name? Oh, you're you're. Uh, I'm Annette, Annette Levy. Yeah. Annette Levy, hi. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mark. I'm with the Viva Golf Vegas. Are you libertarian? Are you? Um, oh, you're a judge. Yeah. Well, I'm running for judge, and it's a nonpartisan position. There you go. Clark County can vote. Right. I'm just so excited to be here. I have a real soft spot and appreciation for people who run for office. So I like to see as many people as I can. And Gary Johnson says some really good things. So why are you for Gary Johnson? <laughs> because he's the best man running, or the best uh, person running. For I was gonna say, you know. Yeah. You can't just disqualify yeah, Stein yeah. and because well, of women. Uh, yeah. I mean, but yeah, he by far is the best uh, man. Qualified, best, uh, best ideas, best, best everything. You know. Well, let's be honest. The president should have a dick, right? No, <laughs> that doesn't even bother me. I mean, I, I think uh, you know, uh, Jill Stein is, is, a, is a, has some of the same views as Gary Johnson, far better than Flint, far better than Trump. But Gary Johnson definitely has the, the, the better plan because. Right. You know, going to a port, uh, a fair tax, leaving the uh, payroll tax will definitely give people a lot of money in their pockets. Sure. And if he was to do that, that, that would definitely allow people to have more money to spend and it would stimulate the economy some. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but at least it's something better for the American people to come back with. I have a lovely young lady here. Why are you for Gary Johnson? Uh, not necessarily. I'm here to find out more. Okay, so you're curious. Yes, very curious. You're not. You're not necessarily for anybody at this point. Um, no. Okay. I, but I want to hear the alternative voice and 
what I've heard about him online has been very impressive. Right. So I wanted to come out tonight. And really what, what, what's impressed you so much about it? I think his uh, kind of hands-off approach to the government being a people's business. Mm -hmm. um, and when I kind of looked at the libertarian platform, I thought, oh my God, maybe I'm a libertarian. You might be. <laughs> I, I might be too. You yeah, know? exactly. Uh, there's a lot of white people here. Are you nervous? Um, <laughs> I am. You're surrounded by I'm them. I'm curious as to why there's maybe only two or three people of color in this room. I noticed that. Yeah, I did too. I got a good eye. <laughs> but by the way, you're, you're the most beautiful one oh, of the two. Well, there's not many of us, so yeah, that's not hard to be. Yes. So, What do you think? Of, well, if people say you're wasting your vote, what do you tell them? That's a sound bite. It's pretty stupid in my book. Yeah. Like a bumper sticker. Right. It has to be a logic to it. Right. It's the best in the country. Right. I was at the Trump rally and they had a lot more people. Does that scare you? No. I grew up in West Virginia. I live in Ohio, too, where it's a big Trump country. Right. And uh, I'm not surprised. I understand the sentiments. If Trump gets elected, I think there's going to be some buyer's remorse. By uh, the election. You smoke marijuana? Uh, I have no comment on that. Okay, I'll uh, take that as a yes, but uh, don't take it as a yes. Take all right, exactly that's a that's a said. that's a no comment. Okay, gotcha. Yes, I'm not sir. gonna drug test you. So okay. here's my deal on that. All right, I don't think it's your uh, right to know what I do or do not do in the privacy of my own home. Fair so enough. I take the questions. It's kind of to me, it's a little bit offensive because that's my personal choice. I, I didn't mean life. to offend you, but you know, you, you didn't offend Gary. Me. John, I didn't think I did, but Gary's more. You know, he he he, uh, he yeah. worked for the. Uh, you know, he's basically pro marijuana as am I. So yeah, he is, and I'm pro marijuana. I think it would be uh, actually good to legalize it, or make it much more safer, and it would make it less available to underage kids. Let me guess, you drive a van, and when you open the door, smoke comes out. Uh, if I had a van, probably. <laughs> so. Have you ever voted third party before? Uh, negative. Really? Have you ever voted before? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. So you are, are eligible to vote? Oh, absolutely. Oh, good. out there more that there is that third choice. It's, it's unbelievable to me how many people I talk to on a daily basis that have no idea that there's a third choice. Well, you know there's like 10. I'm sorry? There's like okay. 10 of them. There's oh, a yeah. Green well, Party, there's me, Massachusetts. Third choice. Jill Stein's out there, yeah, exactly. and there's other people. Uh, I don't know about the others, to be honest. I'm going to be really right. honest. I just know of... Uh, Communist Jill Party, and... Nazi Party. There's a lot of people out there. Okay. Well, look, I just got informed. No, I was, I'm informing her about Communists and Nazis. You smoke marijuana? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> but it's, I, it's, I nobody don't. does here, but... Uh, <laughs> I have no problem in legalizing. Right. So, Everybody's for legalization. So. Okay. The libertarians make better lovers. <laughs> <just leaving. laughs> I haven't been with one yet. Not yes. oh. <laughs> well, Let me give you my card. I, I have another 50 years to go, so I am married. Uh, oh, so. oh, I'll take, <laughs> put that take away. Well, here. You rock absolutely Are you feeling the Johnson? Uh, I feel the Johnson definitely. All Absolutely. right. Okay. Thanks when a lot. Can, when I can see it, open I, my belly. Well, I, I'm sure Sorry, you see I'm, him. I'm sure you. I'm sure you see it more than I do. So, uh, uh, are you feeling the Johnson? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So you're both feeling the Johnson. I, am, I have no problem feeling the Johnson. Oh, okay. I will feel the Johnson all day and all night long. Right. <laughs> How much will you feel the Johnson? That's where I'm clicking in November, or that Tuesday in November. Are you feeling Johnson? There you go. I was going to say, are you feeling the Johnson? I'm feeling the Johnson right now. You like to feel Johnson. 
hopefully you find me not guilty one of these days. Hopefully you won't be guilty one of these days. <laughs>